Today I'm going to be reviewing the Subculture Palette um, by Anastasia. I was really excited about this palette because it has shades that I really, really like. Like this one is like my favorite color. Um, it's so pretty. I've been hearing some bad reviews about it. I've already tried this palette like twice already. So it's not really like a first impression, it's more like a review I guess. Um, so yeah, the only one... The only video that I've really seen is Kim Tai's video. I didn't really watch anybody else, um, not because I don't like them, but because I just didn't. But anyways, um, so we're going to use this palette today. I wonder how it's going to work today because the first time I used it, it was so bad. Like nothing blended and I had to go to work and I was like, oh, I don't feel good about my makeup today. Um, but today we're going to try it again. I tried it the other day. It worked okay. Um, I didn't use the same colors as I did the first time. Um, but yeah, today I don't know what kind of look I'm going for. So we're just kind of going to wing it. Um, I'm going to try to use most of the colors, if not all. Well, I don't know if I can use all of them. Um, but I'm going to try to use most of them and see how it goes do you see how cute my little mirror is like if you want to see a separate video of how I did that I mean it's not hard so if you want to know I'll do a separate video on it but it's so cute I really want to make like a flower background um, with those colors you know it looks so pretty and springy but anyways um, let's jump right into it um, so for my eyebrows I will leave a link below how I do it I do it the same way, it's just sometimes I use different products. Um, now I'm going to talk about two products that I really like, that I've been using a lot lately. And it's perfect shade for my blonde hair. So the first one is the LA Color Browy Wowie Brow Pencil. And I really like this pencil because it has like a gray tone to it, so it looks so natural and so pretty. But I ran out of it, so... And it has like an angle to it, which I really like. And it has like a gel feel to it, so it kind of holds your eyebrows down. I don't know, some people might not like it. But yeah. And then the other one that I like, which is kind of gray tone too, but I think it's a little bit darker, is the NYX um, Pre Precision Brow Pencil. And it's the one that looks like this. And I got the shade Blonde. Oh, this one is the shade Taupe, which works so good. Um, but I got the shade blonde and it's perfect. I mean, I like the shade taupe too, but that one was too dark. So I kind of like my eyebrows to be a little bit more like gray tone. So this one works so good. So let me throw on my eyebrows um, and I'll be back. So I did my eyebrows. I set my eyebrows. Um, now I'm going to prime my eyes with some concealer. I'm just using shape tape. And then I will blend that out. Set with the RCMA powder. I really like this powder just because it's like really fine. Like the powder is really, really fine. Um, it's not chunky or anything. Dig in to the eyeshadow palette. I'm really into um, yellows and like mustard colors right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to take this peachy color called Roxy, and I'm going to place this all over my crease. It's really powdery, um, I guess, well, I guess that one's not powdery, um, but it's really, really powdery for some of them, and, but they're really pigmented. side you see how pigmented it is like it's crazy I feel like um some of these colors blend really well and some just don't 
So after that, I'm gonna go in with the orange shade, or like the, yeah, orangey mustard kind of color. And I'm gonna tap it off because I know that's gonna be really, really pigmented. And I'm just gonna blend it in with that coral color. I'm gonna go in with All Star, which is a really pretty pinky purple color. And I'm gonna take this on the outer part of my eye. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this. See, it's pretty powdery. I don't know. Yeah, you can't see it. But it's kind of powdery. So we're gonna pat that in the outer part. I'm gonna use cube and I'm gonna place that like right here. Huh? I don't see it. Oh, I'm, I don't see it on my finger. Okay. I guess it has like some pink in it. What? <laughs> okay, fail. Um, I was just going for something else. Um, that didn't work. So I'm gonna go in with the Naked Heat. And since this is more like a pinky purple let's go in with lumbre lumbre i don't know this one right here this shimmery color right here why is why does nothing want to work for me today Nothing wants to work today. Here we go. Kind of. Here we go. I want to try this new thing where I do my bottom lashes. Like, smoke out the bottom lashes. So, I, we're going to go in with the color that I really, really like. Um, which is this blue right here. And before I do that, I'm going to use a nude eyeliner, which is by Rimmel London, Scandalize, the shade Nude, I think it's called. Yeah, 005 Nude. And I'm just going to get this. I'm going to go in with Axis. Now, this color is really pigmented. Like, it's so pigmented. Now I look a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna take the brush with the new wave color, that orangey mustard color, and I'm gonna blend it out with this color. Um, I'm gonna do my wing eyeliner now. Okay, so I did my wing eyeliner and everything. Um, I like self <laughs> Um, So for my face, I'm not going to do it on the video because I already have a separate video for it. So if you want to see it or see how I do my face routine, I will link it down below. But uh, I'm just using different products um, whenever I do my face. Sometimes I use different products. Um, so those products will also be listed below. So let me just finish my face and then we'll be back to finish the eyes okay so I have finished I think I put this lower okay so I have finished my face Ooh. so um, 
like to be Tartia's Pro Glow to Go, and I use that in my inner corner. I use the shade Burst, and I just pop that right here, so it will be nice and shiny. And I also use that on my face. Do a little bit right here. I like it right there a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to pop on some eyelashes. Um, I'm going to be wearing these Eyelier Luxe um, eyelashes. I don't know if these have names on it because... Oh, they do. Oh my god, I'm so blind. It's like right at the front. But this one is the Opalent um, eyelashes. And I really like them. So, I'm so blind. Like, I've been... <laughs> Trying to look for the name like everywhere, but I couldn't find it. But let me just pop these on real quick. Okay, so this is how the eyelashes look. They're really, really natural. Yeah, they feel so light on the eyes. Um, so it just kind of ties the look together a little bit. But to finally finish it off, to top it off, I'm going to do bottom lashes. I always have to do my bottom lashes because... It's a must. Like, I feel like it makes such a big difference. So, let me go in on this. Okay, so even though you can't see my bottom lashes, it's not long like most people. Um, it still makes a big difference for me. So, now I'm going to spray with some Fix Plus. Whew. Feels good. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in to do my lips. I'm really into gloss right now, like and mattes and stuff. So, well, I mean, I've always been into matte lipsticks, but like more like liquid lipsticks. But I'm really getting into uh, matte. Well, not matte, but actual like lipsticks and um, lip glosses. So, if you know any really good lip glosses please let me know because I it's really hard to find the ones that are not sticky and yeah so I mean I found one right now that's pretty good um let me see what kind of lip I want to do if I want to feel more pink or more nude a little bit a little bit more pink just because it has a little bit of it on the eyes but this is the Tarte Lip Sculpture um, Lipstick and Lip Gloss and you can find these in the like mini stuff section when you go and check out and stuff in that like aisle. Um, and this shade, I don't know, does it have it? Yeah, it's called VIP. And this one is the pinker shade. The other one that it comes with, it comes with two. This one is called Life. And this one's more nudie brown. This one has like more pink to it. So let me actually line my lips first. So I'm going to go in with the next um, lip liner, and this is the shade Nude Truffle. It is a little bit darker than, or more brown than the lipstick, but it's okay. If you guys know, like, a little liquid lipstick that's this shade, please let me know because I like it so much. I just got these lip liners the other day. Um, so yeah, let's go in with this, uh, VIP. Ooh, I really like the combo of this. Yeah, so I think this completes the look. So here is the look. Let me move it more right here. Um, so here is the look. I think overall it turned out pretty well um, all together um, is this palette really worth it I felt like maybe not but if you could make it work then you will you should get it because I really like the colors in here the colors are really really pretty um, it's just maybe like the blending and the fallouts that some of you guys might not like but for me I'm gonna keep this palette because I feel like I can make it work for me like how I did today. Um, so, 
yeah please just excuse my fan because it's really hot um but yeah i felt like it did work out pretty well for me um so yeah let me know what you guys think about this look and the eyeshadow palette as well um don't forget to like and subscribe follow my instagram i'll leave it down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys